everyone, this is Teacher Joanne again and today we will be learn about the history of physical education in Europe with a concentration on Germany. Physical education primarily is shaped by Johann Bernhard based though. He founded the Philanthropinum in 1774, somewhat a map school, where three hours of the 10 hour school days was to be spent for recreational activities such as fencing, riding, dancing, and music. Again, such as fencing, riding, dancing, and music. His younger students engaged in Greek gymnastics contests such as running, wrestling, throwing, and jumping. Older ones practiced nightly exercise as dancing, fencing, riding, bolting on five horses, shuttlecock, tennis, and playing with a large air field ball. Even though Johann Bernhard Besdo primarily shaped uh, physical education in 1774, the publication of J.C.F. Gottschmuth's Books Gymnastics for Youth in 1793 Mark the start of the German physical education. Translated version of this book quickly gained popularity and as a stimulus for the inclusion of physical education in school curricula in other European nations such as Denmark and Sweden. Since the late 18th century, German contribution to development in sports and physical education had been significant and widespread. Gottsmuth's natural form of gymnastics exercise shaped from a range of pan-European ideas and practices provided a conceptual framework which became a springboard for subsequent initiative both in sports and physical education initially throughout the European region and later beyond. So who is Johann Christoph Friedrich Gottsmuth? Johann Gottsmuth, known as the real founder of physical education, legitimized the physical education profession. He believed in the promotion of people's health to have a strong nation. Gottsmuth is considered the grandfather of physical education. So what did Johann Friedrich Gottsmuth do? A German founder of a system of gymnastics that was introduced into the schools in Germany in 19th century, Gottsmuth wrote several books and manuals outlining his system of gymnastics and exercise and targeting youth and young people. And another German teacher, Friedrich Wilhelm August Priobel, established the theory of play that supports the place and purpose of physical education. He believed that play in the form of physical education was a wonderful mechanism for stress reductions and character and moral development. What is Friedrich Priobel's main contribution? Well, he was a German educator, founder of the kindergarten, and one of the most influential educational reformers of the 19th century. He believed in self-activity and play as Essential factors in child's education was his most significant contribution to educational theory. Another German teacher, Friedrich Ludwig John, the father of gymnastic skills, established the German Torberin movement in the spring of 1811. The word was coined from the extinct Teutonic word, Tornen, to perform gymnastics exercises. He was called Turnbater, father of gymnastics. His system of gymnastics was more political in nature. That was Friedrich Ludwig Cha, father of gymnastics. And we have adult spies. Adult spies emphasize marching exercises like calisthenics. The students will develop good posture, believe that the physical education program should be progressive from simple exercises to more difficult and advocate exercises combined with the music for free expression and believe in marching exercises as aid in class organization, discipline, and posture development. 
Many experts agree that calisthenics originated with the ancient yoga practitioners of India and continue in the ancient world as early as 1700 BCE or before the Common Era. However, despite their benefits, calisthenics went away with time in the 19th century, but they were not for completely forgotten. It was until the late 1800s that interest in bodyweight exercises revived, thanks to the two German researchers, Friedrich Ludwig John and Adolf Spies, who are created with the popularizing gymnastics movements for the benefit of physical fitness. Karl Adolf Spies was a German gymnast and educator who contributed in the development of school gymnastics for children or both sexes in Switzerland and Germany. So thank you for listening for today's talk and I hope you learned something about the history of physical education in Germany. This is your teacher John wishing you a pleasant day and reminding you all to stay safe all time. Thank you and good luck. Bye!